Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As I was coming this morning, I was hearing the sound of the keyboard. Very wonderful playing. The bass, I thought it was real bass. So I was dancing from outside. Dancing before I even enter. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Until I came here, then I saw another person. He was, <laughs> he was also dancing. Praise Master Jesus. Our God is good. Amen. Amen. It's good to be alive. Abby? Praise Master Jesus. So let's go into the topic is, is justification. It's easy to get back to. Although it's good about it to him. Justification by faith. Our topic is what? Our topic is what? God bless you. Justification by faith. Let's open our Bible again. Open your Bible, please. To the book of Romans chapter 3, verse 25. And then put one finger there. Then open to... When you open to Romans chapter 3, verse 25. Romans 3, verse 25. Then also let's open to Proverbs chapter 30, from verse 18. Romans 3, 25. Romans chapter 3, 25. I hope you can hear me very well because yesterday I sat down in the congregation at the back, but the thing was not very loud like that. So I'm going to go there and I'll, I'll read there. Romans chapter 3, 25. Are we there? Romans 3, 25. Can somebody read? Romans chapter 3, verse 25. Where are you now? And where your Bibles? <laughs> no Bible. Hey, God, I beg you. Oh, yeah. Who the Romans 3 25? Yeah, it's loud. Yeah. True faith. Yes. In his blood. Yes. To declare his righteousness for the nation of sins that are. Pass through the forbearance of God. Yes. Okay, go to the next. Am I right? To declare, I say, mm -hmm. at this time, mm -hmm. it's righteousness yeah. that you may be just mm -hmm. and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Amen. That you may be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Yeah? Right. Okay. It is excluded yeah. by, by what law? Yeah. Of works? Yeah. None. Yeah. But by the law of faith. Thank you. Fine. You said by what law? Is it thank you? By the, what law? Is it the law of works? But it's not by the law of works, but by the law of faith. Hello, everybody. Please look at me. There's a danger. The danger is that you come to church, your mind will not be here. And what you are supposed to hear, you will not hear. So look at me with your two eyes. You have two ears. Look, listen very well. Just be looking. There's, you need to pay attention. Don't be distracted. Don't let your mind go far. Because this few minutes, very short time, just now we don't close. In this few time, the little words that God has for us, pay attention. So just be looking. me. Amen. Praise God. Oh yeah. Open your Bibles. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 18. Proverbs 30, verse 18. Proverbs chapter 30. Verse 18. Alright. Yeah. Proverbs 30. Verse 18. There are treaties. Okay, thank you. Which are too wonderful for me. There are three things that are too wonderful for me. Yeah. For which I know not. Yeah, for which I know not. The wear of an ego in the air. The wear of an ego in the air. The way of the serpent upon the rock. The way of the sheep in the midst of the sea. The way of the sheep in the midst of the sea. And the way of the man in the midst. Hey, the way of the man in the midst. Do you understand what you are doing? This man, thank you. He said that there are three things that are so wonderful that it's very hard for me to understand. He said number one, he said that he said now wonder. He said wonder for him. 
He said the name, the name of the person talking is Agur. Somebody say Agur. Say Agur now. Talk. Say Agur. Now the name of the person. So he said there are three things that are too wonderful. Number one, he said, number one, the, when the eagle flies in the air, eagle flies in the air. That time that Agur was talking, they have not invented the plane. He said, how is it that he could take the fly? How does the eagle fly in the air? He said, the thing is too marvelous for me to understand. That's number one. Number two, he said, I cannot understand. What's number two? That's verse 19. He said what? The way of what? The serpent. The way of the serpent. What is the serpent? Snake. He said, how snake? What they do? When you get on top of rock, they just do like this, left and right. He said, the thing, when I look at the thing, he said, hey, God, now, wonderful God, do. Number three, what's the third one? Where are the sheep? Sheep. He said that sea sheep, when you see big sea like this, and you say human being, say they make sheep. Say the sheep on top of water. The sheep know they see. Say, wow, God make, God creates well. Oh. Say, how did God say give human being eh, wisdom to make sheep? The sheep when they go on top of sea to not see. He said, wow, it's wonderful. Number four. He said, too wonderful for me. What the fourth one? Wait, wait, my sister. No talk. Number four, from your Bible. Of course, of course, I mean, they are talking. You know. No talk. Number four, what is the wonderful thing that you could not understand? The way of what? The way of what? Man with what? With made, with care. He said, number four thing that is amazing, eh? that I don't understand. He said, why people say, when man day, they only know. But when man entered the matter, the man, eh, the man he had eh, another place. Big, full man, when get money, that is small, small girl, but can't say, we can't rub his head. Anything he gets up, he go do. Like king, you say a king, a very mighty king, just because of woman, the wife will come tell us, my husband, there's some people when they misbehave for your kingdom, kill them, you say, okay, I'll kill them. And just because of woman, small woman, who kingdom will be on fire? True or false? That's to say, the king, this man, Agos, if all things were wonderful, how is it that woman have power over man? Because if you look at this in Genesis, was it not woman that he, that he told man? Devil could not fall Adam, could he fall Adam? He had to go to who? Woman. And he now entered the rich spot of woman, and woman now for the man. He said, This thing is wonderful. And wow. Four things that are too wonderful. Why am, I, why am I going to this scripture? You see, there's another thing that is still wonderful that you cannot understand. That is number five. Let me call it number five, although it's number four. The way woman get power, eh? Which man? Man go deal with big man or strong man, or but woman will fall out. Any small thing woman talk, you go dream. The same way that woman. Get man to get weak spots, soft heart. That's the same way God and man, as big as God is, as powerful as God is, as awesome as God is, in all of creation, all the angels, look, angels, they just place now. If God will open your eyes to see angel, everybody will take off. The reason then he can't see you when be dust. He said that this one I like as a piece, he said, I like this one. He still who care body strong, they move like lightning. God said, I don't know what's happening. The one when I like like this one, when be, when, when be dust, so that's my interest. The Bible said that the way of a man and a woman is that a husband and wife, is not just man and woman. The way of the man and the woman is like the way of Jesus Christ, of God and the church. Amen. The same way a man has weakness for a woman. That's the same way God has soft heart for you. Praise the Lord. That God is looking at you and he's saying, I don't want to be here alone in heaven and enjoy myself. I'm going to make a plan for you and me. Eh? That so that I will not be alone in this heaven enjoying. I'm going to, my weak spot for you is that I'm going to make provision.
provision so that you will not go to hell. And that is what we are talking about this month. Justification by faith. How can a whole God, a whole God that when they have to sin, he punish them. Angel sin, he punish them. And it's not him. He must punish you because he's God. And then when you have this man's stone, he said, I'll punish you, but I will not punish you full. I will not do half. Praise the Lord. The Bible said that, how can we escape? Can we open there? That is 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. 1 Timothy 3 verse 16. Ah, 1 Timothy 3 verse 16. Another person. Hebrews 2 verse 3. Please, open your Bible from this side. Eh? Hebrews 2 verse 3. Somebody here. Then another person. 1 Timothy 3 verse 16. Can somebody read for us? 1 Timothy 3 verse 16. Who is there? Yes? Yeah. Oh yeah, Roland, Roland, yeah. Roland first. Yeah. First Timothy 3 16. Beyond question. Yes. The mystery from which true godliness spring is great. Yes. The appeared flesh. Yes. Was vindicated by the spirit. My God. Was seen by angels. My God. Was preached among the nations. Yes. Was believed in the world. Yes. Was taken up in glory. So he said, beyond mystery, great is the mystery of godliness. Just like this mystery that this Agur was saying, for mystery. He said, how is it that God became flesh? This same God he suffered. He was bruised. He was crushed. He was killed. He said, it's a great mystery. And then after he was killed, he can't rise again, go back to heaven. He said, it's a great mystery. It's very difficult to understand that the powerful God mighty God, because of you, because of me, he suffered and died. What a mystery. Praise Master Jesus. Hebrews 2 verse 3. Can read now. Hebrews 2 3. Oh yeah now. Uh oh, I thought you were there before. Hebrews 2 3. Who is there? Go ahead. Yes. How shall we escape? So great salvation. began to be spoken yet by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that are paid him. He said, look at this. God that does not tolerate sin. God that does not tolerate iniquity. He now decided that, okay, I'm going to make a way for you and for me. He said, how can we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? No, 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 no. I want to thank God that I know that in this place, we are not people that are neglecting salvation. Many of us have believed in Jesus. The only way we can access that salvation is through faith. It's through what? It's through what? Faith. And faith means believing in Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask again. How many of you believe in Jesus? Please raise your hand. Wow. How many believe in Jesus? Raise the hand. Okay, God bless you. Praise God. The Bible says that once we believe, we believe we are justified. Amen. Amen. So I want to just go over what we said last week. Last week we said that God is in judge. We remember that. That God is in judge and he must punish evil and he must reward good. I mean, do we remember? If you don't remember, I'm reminding you now. God is in judge and God means he must punish evil and he must reward good. If you do evil, God must punish evil. If you do good, God must reward the good. Amen. We also said last week that Jesus Christ is the permanent fix, is the permanent solution. In the olden days, they used to kill lamb. That we said that the lamb is innocent, right? The goat is innocent. Small lamb, baby lamb, it must be one year. You kill the lamb and then put the lamb, the blood of the lamb on the doorpost. When you see the lamb has been killed, you now say, oh, this innocent lamb. Ah, what did this lamb do? Yes, that's the way God designed it. That the innocent must die for the guilty. So that whatever was on the innocent will come on the guilty. What was on the guilty will come on the innocent. And that lamb that died for the sins of the whole world, what is his name? What is his name now? Talk well. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. So today, 
We are still on justification by faith. I want us to go a little bit deeper. Now, what does this faith, how long, eh? because we say we have faith, we have faith, we have faith. Eh? This faith, how long are we supposed to have the faith? Remember in the Old Testament, when the children of Israel sinned against God, they were complaining in the wilderness. God now sent serpent, that is snake, to be biting them, right? And God now told them, God told Moses that you should do what? You should make image of what? Eh? Of snake, of serpent. And you should put it on what? On what? On what? Talk now, talk. Eh? You should put it on a stick. And then you should raise the stick. You now start with snake. Snake was inside. Go, go, go. Many snakes, they bite, bite, bite. You said that if snake bites you, what should you do? You should what? You should look up at the snake. Once you look at the snake, what will happen to you? Eh? You will recover. Good. Assuming now, for example, now, snake, bite this my brother. <laughs> Say, look at the altar. Look at the altar. You can't heal, Abi. You can't go. Snake still there, two of us. Is that still snake? What if the snake come back again and bite the second time? What should you do? Look up again. What if, okay, they assuming that this lasts for three days, what of the second day? If the snake come bite you for hand, what should you do? Look where? Look. Should you look at the injury? You should look at your brother. You, you know, black stone, they kill snake. You know, black snake, black stone. If you put black stone, you think, I mean, I know black stone now. Should you look at black stone? What should you look at? The altar, the snake, the brazen snake. So, this is the point. No matter how many times the snake bites you, you should keep looking at the, is at the what? At the altar, at the cross. What is the application today? We are justified by faith. That means we enter, so, so, look, so far you believe in Jesus Christ, yeah? you are following Jesus Christ, you are on your way to heaven. That means no shaking for you. You believe in Jesus yesterday, but today, do you still believe in Jesus? That's the question. Our faith is not a faith of, I believe in 2000, 2023, I repent. But now, I'm not sure. Let's go to Romans chapter 1 verse 17. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. This faith that we are talking about is not just a faith of beginning faith. It is a faith of every day. Somebody say every day. Somebody say every day. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. What does it say? Yes. For therein is the righteousness of God. Revealed from faith uh -huh. to faith. So, it's okay. He said, Romans 1 from verse 6, he said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from what? Answer now. I mean, answer. From what? Faith to... From what? Faith to... Say it again. From... To faith. It is not from faith to doubt. It is not from faith to fear. It is not from faith to juju. It is from faith to faith. That means you believed yesterday. That's not enough. Believe today. Because every day his mercies are new. The devil is planning for you. He said, give us today our daily bread. Is he not? Did he say, give us our weekly bread? Monthly bread? For God, it is every day from faith to faith. Last week you believed. Today, are you believing? Praise God. Yesterday you believed. You were a strong Christian. Today, are you a strong Christian? Yesterday you were a sinner. Today, are you a Christian? It is not about yesterday. It is about now. Now. Somebody say now. This justification we are talking about is from faith to faith. It's not from faith to doubt. That is to say, your faith needs to be sharp every day. Touch your neighbor, say every day faith. The justification, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. You had faith yesterday, my brother, that faith is not enough. You need another one today. Praise God. The faith that you showed in God yesterday is not enough. Say you repent. I'll just, no! Every day, 
you need a fresh faith. And that is why every day you need to read your Bible. Because the Bible said that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Eh? Every, now every day we the truck now, Abi. Abi, that's the same way every day you must read your Bible. That's why it's good that we come here every single day. Every day you must pray. Somebody say, read your Bible. Pray every day. You know that song? Read your Bible. Pray every day. Hey. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day. If you want to grow. Praise the Lord. Your, our Christianity is not a Christianity of yesterday. It's a Christianity of now. That's why the Bible said in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1. What does it say? Hebrews 12 verse 1. It said, now, faith is the substance. Oh yeah, Bible student, help me now. If you help me. Faith is what? Substance of this hope for the evidence of things not seen. When is faith? Now. Somebody say now. Open it down. Hebrews chapter 12. Read that now. What is it? Not be now. Open, 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 open. Open. Yes. Hey, yeah, who's there? Hebrews 12, verse 1. Is it 11? Sorry, thank you. Hebrews 11, 1. Yeah, go ahead. Hebrews 11, 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Thank you. I'm fine. Now, somebody say now. So, my encouragement to you this morning, justification by faith. It is not that uh, yesterday I repented, last week I repented. No, it's your now. Ask your neighbor, how is your now? Praise God. God is interested in your now. What are you doing now? Yes, yesterday I know that you are a shower. I know you committed an abortion. I know that you stole. Nobody caught you. I'm, I've forgotten about that. The Bible said he has forgiven us our sins. But now God is interested in now. Somebody say now. God is interested in your now. Don't worry about tomorrow. Leave your now and your deliverance. How are you with me? God is saying that if you want to grow with me, be, your faith must be every day, every day, every day, every day. Amen. Amen. So our Christian journey, we started with faith. We started with what? We continue in faith. Say we continue in faith. Say we continue in faith now. And then we will also end in faith. So don't give up your faith. It is from faith to faith to faith to faith. That means I believe in Jesus yesterday. Today I believe in Jesus. Tomorrow I believe in Jesus. And let me tell you something. A time will come that you, you are hearing me. The devil will come and test your faith. He will come and test you. One time will come and one problem will come. They will say, look, one of my friends, one problem, family problem came. They said that, hey, your, your mother, you know, she don't get one kind of sickness. So, she go, 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 they pray, pray, from place to place. They do not seem to get the answer. They now told her that, you know what? When we try native way, native, native word, he said, no, 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 see what, we'll see what happened. That my friend, last because he's a pastor. Even the mother said that was a pastor. He said, let's try native way. He said, what should be the native way? He said, they will find human bone, human being, when they don't die. Eh? He said, you bring the bone of that person so. He said, when they go find that, they go find that kind of thing. That, that, is that a good thing to do? Not better thing. He said, you know what he said? He said, if not so, you don't need that native way. If Jesus no not feel may she die. That's the faith. If your faith will soon be tested, though. If people are looking at me, you say you believe in Jesus. Let me say, hey, you believe in Jesus. I must test your faith. And when they test your faith, and you say, no, even if God no go do and look at that like that, God said, yeah, this is my own. This one on my own. Faith doesn't mean that God will give you. Eh? God, he will do it. But in case he will not do it, will you change your mind? Will you still follow? I love that. Will you change your mind? Will you still follow Jesus? Now maybe these people will follow Jesus. Will you change your mind? Huh? <laughs> will you change your mind? You go change your mind. Test is coming on. They'll come and test you. No money for account. What's today? 17. Eh? One kind of thing will come. Then we say, they can, not to be happy. But 
will you say, no, I will follow Jesus? No, I must still follow Jesus. They will come and test you because of the word sake. But the Bible says something, that if you can pass the test, you will have reward. So our Christianity is not a faith of yesterday. It's a Christianity of from faith to faith. Says faith to faith. Faith to faith. And finally, even if God doesn't do anything for you, see, this Christianity is not about money or say you will make money. No! It's about following Jesus, whether money day or money no day. Amen. Follow me and I will give you eternal life. Yes, he will bless you. Jesus will bless you. But in case he doesn't bless you, I will end with this story. There were three Hebrew boys. Shadrach, Meshach, and... And who? Bible son. Those were not ghosts of the school. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He told, the king told them that, okay, I want you people to say you believe in God. Say yes. Say now, nah, I'm going to put Juju, big Juju. All of you should bow down and what? Worship. Everybody for full kingdom. Song. Everybody bow down. Juju, they worship the Juju well, well. So three boys. I need three boys to stand up. Three boys. We are three boys. One, two, three. Quick, quick, quick. One. Number two. Stand now. Three strong boys. Two. Yes. They are young boy. Number three. Three. Good. Thank you. So three boys were standing. The king said, Ah, I said make everybody bow down. Why you not stand? No, stand now. Stand. No sense. From faith to faith. See, stand, stand, my brother, stand, not sit. I can understand if you don't stand at the end of this message. I'm laughing up. He said, Why are you not standing? He said that our God said we should not bow down. He said, If you don't bow down, I will do what? I will throw you inside that land uh, and where? Inside where? Nani Kofaya. Nafari Police. You know what they do? They do like this. They okay? say, In case our God not save us, we not go. He said, no. He said, our God will save us. Abi. But in case he not save us, we will not bow down. He said, okay, carry them and throw them inside the what? Throw them there, inside the, inside the fire. You can sit down. What is the story? What is the moral? Where are we going? Faith in God. In case that thing express from God, he not do one. Because he serve him. Because he serve him. Answer now. Because he serve God. In case that thing they believe for sins, in case you're not building for life, because it's have Jesus Christ. Eh? You go serve him. <laughs> oh yeah, let's rise up. Eh? If you are sure you are going to serve him, let's sing this song. Eh? My lifetime, I will give God my lifetime. My lifetime, my lifetime, I will give When I give God my time, He will take care of me. Oh yes, He will never ever let me down. I will give God my time. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name, Father, thank you for your word that we have heard this morning. Father, we are asking that you will give us faith for every day in the name of Jesus. We will not let you down. Even when we do not have the things that we, that we want, we will still continue to serve you. Even when everything becomes very hot, we will still continue to follow you. We will have faith to the end in the name of Jesus. Father, no, none of us will deny you in that day of trouble in the name of Jesus. In fact, there will be help for us in the mighty name of Jesus. 